Hello and welcome to another of our occasional updates all about the new programme we're making about Cold War East Anglia. Before I go any further, a bit of an update on an update, if that makes sense. If you saw our last vlog, you will remember that we were in a, a secret underground location and you've got some news about that. Yeah, literally 24 hours after we filmed down the bunker, it was sealed off. No, no access at all. Um, and so it feels like even more of a privilege to have been able to film mm. down there. It just goes to illustrate how important it is to record these bits of history, mm. isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Back to the present, and today it's been, I think, fair to say, a day of all things American. Very much, very much. An American Cold War airfield um, interview with a lovely guy, fascinating stories about his time when he was based here um, during the Cold War years. I've learned a lot. And I think it's important to say that, or to remember and remind ourselves that the Americans were a vital part of the Cold War in this region. It literally was the front line. You know, that is the key word, the front line. Yeah, and he actually used that phrase, didn't he? He did, he, that's how he how That's how he felt. Mm. Meanwhile, we have a call to action for you, as always. If you have any memories, stories to tell about the Cold War era, whether you were a civilian or in the military, anything at all, we'd love to hear from you address on the screen we really would like to hear from you so please do get in touch that's it for now we'll see you again soon cheerio for now